I'm Jason Laird with the Montana Ag Network. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Well, check out some of the wind that we've seen throughout the area over the past 24 to 48 hours or so. 72 in Browning. We've had even higher reports up near uh, uh, Hart Butte in that region. Vaughn at about 61 miles per hour. Fort Benton seeing one at 57. All right, snowpack I wanted to show you before our next weekend weather maker moves in well above 100%. That's the snow water equivalent percent of percentage of normal all across the state. So as we head toward Friday, huge area of low pressure moving in off the coast. We've got one cell down to our south and another one moving in off of the coast. That's allowing for significantly colder air to funnel in. And this area of low pressure combined with that one pulling significant amounts of moisture across the region. That snow is going to stick with us both Friday and Saturday. Uh, Sunday, probably some lingering mountain flurries and still very, very cold air planted over top of the state due to that area of low pressure allowing for that cold Canadian air to settle in. So really a cold and snowy weekend transitioning to a well slightly warmer work week at least by Tuesday. So snow that's a talking point likely six inches or above very, very likely just north of Great Falls. We'll be kind of right on the edge. Forecast models will still probably change a little bit, but at least six inches is very, very likely in north central Montana as this weather system heads our way. So with that said, wind is going to die down today with the passage of a cold front, likely wintry mix along the leading edge in a weekend weather maker.